a really common issue with skiers is having rotation of the hips, which leads to rotation of the upper body and arms. The root cause of this is when you look at the relationship between the ball and the socket joint, the ball of the leg, socket joint of the hip, and the ability to make a clean rotation with that leg inside the hip. Now, a lot of people do rotate the hips and we have a, a good process to try and check that. So if you wanna try and measure just how much steering range you have internally, grab hold of your hips, you don't want to allow your hips to move or rotate. Obviously, we don't want to do that anyway in our skiing. And I want you to step around and try and see what range of steering you get across the hill with your outside leg. So that's measuring your turn to the right. My left leg going right looks like it's about 75, 80 degrees across the fall line, which will be the zero degrees straight ahead, 90 degrees sideways. Coming back the other way, I know I'm slightly tied to this side, broke my hip on that side a few years ago. I got about 70 degrees 75 degrees on that side and that's holding me in good stead it just means i'm going to be able to finish off my turns nicely now remember when you test yourself you've got to be aware that a lot of people are going to only get to around 40 or 50 degrees and that's where you've got to put the work in so i'm going to work my way through these rotary movements as we were talking about you're mainly looking to try and find pure leg rotation pure leg rotation keeping the hips facing down the fall line and just test yourself to see what your capabilities are. Some people won't have a lot, some people have more than others, especially if you're working on things like yoga on a regular basis and opening out your hips. Nice, smooth movements. 